watching News 8. Well, the Bills will host the Bengals in Sunday's home opener. And a key player may not be on the field. Here's Prescott Rossi with your Sunrise Sports. What once was a weakness has now become a pleasant surprise for the Bills offense. Tight end. Charles Clay, Logan Thomas, Jason Kroom are out. Dawson Knox, Tommy Sweeney, and Lee Smith are in. They've done well blocking and averaging 14 yards per catch. One more addition to the tight end room is coming soon. Good news and bad news on the injury list. Details in our Bills report. First, the bad news. Running back Devin Singletary was on the field for warm-ups yesterday, but then left immediately for the training room once practice started. He's day-to-day -day with a hamstring injury. Nickel corner Taron Johnson still not practicing with a hamstring injury of his own. Missed the win over the Giants. The surprise yesterday, Trey White in a non-contact jersey, officially limited with a neck injury. Bills provided no further details. At tight end, Tyler Croft participated in his first full practice as a member of the Bills. Been a long road back from foot surgery. Croft discussed the concerns he has for this week. Getting confident uh, in my foot again and getting confident, like... I know how to play football again, obviously. Um, yeah, it was just knocking off that rust and making sure, uh, making sure I'm doing the little technique stuff, the little nuances that come with playing the position, making sure I still have a, a good grasp on those. Now, the Bills receiving group is a whole lot better this season, and not just the part about catching the ball. Thad Brown talked to the guys about the other important thing. They are doing well. Devin Singletary's touchdown run against the Giants on Sunday does not happen were it not for a great block downfield from tight end Dawson Knox, something Sean McDermott pointed out in his press conference Wednesday. The head coach has been very happy with the blocking abilities shown by his tight ends and receivers, but they also have a very specific motivation. Each and every day they tell us, you know, you got to block to get the ball. So we go out there every day and just block. So we don't mind blocking, though. You know, whoever has the ball, we don't mind blocking at all. Whether it's receiver, running back, tight end, we're going to block regardless. It's, it's always fun being the last guy because that, you know, sometimes that's what people see. But, you know, when you got a fast, quick like guy like that, as long as I touch the guy, it'll probably, he'll probably score. Um, but we practiced that a lot last week, um, and it's just fun kind of seeing something that you worked so hard on kind of come into fruition for the game. Coach puts it up in the team you room, like, yeah, look at, you know, look at such and such downfield making the, you know, making the touchdown block. You know, that's pretty cool when you get put in the team room, so it's pretty fun. We put emphasis on it. Whoever the ball carry is, whether it's a receiver, tight end, or running back, or quarterback, you know, you want to block for your teammates. So, I mean, I, guys are definitely unselfish in that sense. Cole Beasley and John Brown brought with them the Buffalo Flyers philosophy of making sure wide receivers are blocking downfield. Lee Smith does the same for the tight ends, and he's so good about it, rookie Dawson Knox said, quote, it's kind of hard to mess it up. With the Bills Report in Orchard Park, I'm Thad Brown. Thad, thank you very much. Next up for the Bills, their home opener Sunday against the Bengals. The Bills are currently six-point favorites. That's it with your sports at Sunrise. I'm Prescott Rossi for News 8. <laughs>